Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News. I have the pleasure to be joined by Sam Noakes after after an incredible sparring session with Henry Turner. Sam, how was that for you, mate? Oh, I'm knackered. I'm ready for bed now, to be honest. I was going to say, you've just mentioned as well that you flew in from uh, from Saudi as well after watching Fury and Garnu this morning. I mean, I'll touch on that. Obviously, like you said, you're tired, so I won't keep you for too long. But how was that whole occasion for you as well? Yeah, no, it was um, it was really good. I mean, like, I've never been to a boxing show like it. They had two venues, and then obviously it was a bit like the Super Bowl with like the halftime sort of show. But, you know, it was brilliant. It was lucky, like, out, thanks for Frank sorting me out the ticket and that. And then obviously got back five o'clock this morning, couldn't sleep on the plane. And then straight in with eight old rounds of Emery. So, as I said, ready for bed now. I was going to say, I mean, Spyro and Henry Turner put, put most most fighters to sleep after that. Was uh, that was great. And um, obviously, you're back on December the second. Shiraz uh, Williams undercard. I mean, exciting, exciting to be back out on December the second as well, just before Christmas. Yeah, I mean, obviously, given what happened in September, missing the show, uh, it's good to get out quick. So yeah, I ain't, had, I ain't had a long time to dwell on it. To be honest, obviously, when it happened, fight week, a little bit upset. You do the whole training camp, lose the weight and that, but it's boxing. You get the highs and the lows. So. The way they've got me out again quick, you sort of forgot about now, obviously. Back in your training is full swing, sparring hard, harder than I like sometimes. But um, yeah, just looking forward to getting back in and getting another fight under my belt, to be honest. Definitely. Do we have any idea of kind of, of, of an opponent that you're going to be fighting, or is it going to be a defence of your Commonwealth title? Or? Uh, I think it was the same opponent I was going to have last time. I don't think it's been confirmed yet. Obviously, Queen's will confirm that at a later date, but I think that's what we're looking at. So that'll be uh, WBC Silver uh, defending that. Oh, perfect. A lot of people were, were fans of that fight beforehand, so, so that's great. That's great to hear, mate. I do want to um, kind of touch on kind of a, a, a fighter that you're sharing the card, a fellow lightweight champion in the division, Gavin Gwynn, obviously recently signed to Queensbury. Um, I just said to you off camera, I'm not going to ask you if you're going to fight him because I know, I know the answer, but it's very exciting times for Queensbury to sign a champion, a British champion in the lightweight division, but also going for the European title as well, and a fight, and a fight that you definitely want to keep your eye on. Yeah, I mean, it's good that obviously now the British title's in-house, so obviously down the line when that fight gets made, it'll be a lot easier because you haven't got conflict of uh, promoters. I mean, Gavin's a season pro in EYC 33, fighting for the European, and I reckon he'll beat that Italian fella, so yeah, if he gets both, it'll be good to have both in-house, I suppose. Definitely. With, with the, obviously, with a, with, a, with a fight with Gavin Gwynn, obviously, it, exciting, exciting times. Is that, it obviously goes without saying, you'd become, come out vic victorious in that fight as well. Oh yeah, obviously. I think I don't think it'd be an easy fight. I mean, obviously, I think the fans would love that because me and him both don't take a backward step. But I got confident in myself. I mean, I'm a little bit younger, a little bit fresher. Maybe obviously, I respect his season rounds. Like he's been tough fights with some good names, better names than I've been in there with. So I'll give him his due, leave him with the European, and obviously just work my way up to that to that level. Definitely, I'm such a fan of that fight, and hopefully he does win the European, Gavin, because I want him to win that. But then I want to see 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 you two in the ring because that is a great fight as well. I do want to touch on obviously uh, your brother Sean's also signed to Queensby and Frank, Frank Warren. Kind of, it must be a really really nice feeling. Obviously, sometimes obviously you were meant to share the Joyce Joyce Shang two undercard as well, but it must be nice to share in that platform with your brother and performing and winning well as well. Yeah, I mean it's good that we're both obviously on under the same while we're training hard. Be nice to get on the same show, but obviously that weren't meant to be. But um, yeah, Sean's flying. I mean, he's got better knockouts than I have, to be honest. I know a few less, but he's still coming in strong. I mean, he injured his thumb in his last fight, so he'll probably be in for the year, just recover that. And then, yeah, hopefully a big year for both of us next year. Definitely. We look forward to seeing it. And my, my final question, Sam, thank you for giving me your time today. We ask everyone this. Uh, what does boxing mean to you? It's been life. I'd be lost without it, to be honest. I don't know what I'd be doing. Up on a roof somewhere, getting wet in this shitty old weather. Perfect. That's one of the best answers to that question. Sam Noakes, thank you very much. And best of luck on December the 2nd as well. Mate. Cheers. Thank you.